Hey, this is the way it looked in the at the website. Uh, yeah, uh, a little different than when I got there because it's a lot flatter, as you can see here. I got it next to my green one. Yeah. I had to have you know a home jersey and a away jersey, of course. Okay, and uh, it's got the sonar numbers, as you can see, um, and that uh, wonderful NFL shield on the, on the collar. Let's take a look at that. It's as usual, blue, red, only this time not white, silver. And it's pretty well centered and so on, just like it should be. And no mistakes there, I can't complain. Yep, and you can see that now. Extreme close up. Okay, now here, uh, if you look closely, you can see the holes that were uh, perforated into the fabric of the material because uh, the material doesn't come with holes already in it. They uh, actually supposedly laser cut those. And the uh, wonderful work on the um, tag, which everybody seems to be really interested in, so I include some extreme close ups of that as well. As you can see, uh, they don't have the extra large or anything like that, they use the regular uh, number sizing. And uh, my fat butt wears a size 48. Actually, it's a little large for me. Uh, my other one was an extra large, and they say this is comparable, but it actually is a, a bit larger. So I could have gotten away with the next size down, but, you know, if I wear something warm underneath. And here we're back on the front. You can see the neck design. And um, this is where I'm upset. Okay, as you can see, um, this thing has not even been washed yet. And, um, wow, look at this. That hurts, man. So I tried to, to return it, and that's a whole other nightmare that I can, um, I'm gonna make another video about that. So, and, I'll, and when I finish it, I'll come back here and put a link on this one. And again, you know, been, and that's, the only thing I, that's the only complaint I have. Um, that and the fact that I'm, I'm not able to exchange it. I just can't get it, I can't get away. I can't get anybody to get, exchange it for me. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue. So that's the front side. Um, we'll back out and we'll go ahead and take a look at the numbers here on the front a little closer show you the details on those. Um, nice stitching, um, beautiful. Can't have to complain about any of that. Um, it's all just well done. I mean, those those little um, Chinese kids, man, they know how to sell, don't they? And, and, and what, they get eight cents a dollar or something? Yeah, it's nice of them to, to do that for such a cheap price, and then they and they sell it to me for 350 bucks. What a bargain, huh? Yeah, I'm stupid, but you know what? I've been wanting one my entire life, and I came into some money that I, you know, I just, whatever, so I bought it, I, I splurged on myself, for once, okay, but yeah, got back to the jersey, look at that, um, it is, it is gorgeous, man, um, I cannot complain about anything but that, that, that screen printing on the, on the shoulder there, it's just awful, um, and, and you know, I'll, I'll continue to try to get some compensation or something for that, but uh, it's not looking too good. All right, now here's the back. Um, as usual, it's written fan on there. And we'll take a look closely at that as it's sewn on like all, everything else, pretty much. Um, and, and well done, as, as I said earlier. Everything's nice and neat. Well done, stitching. No, no overlaps or mistakes that I can find. Um, yeah, and I, I kind of went over with comb, so. Um, the, only, uh, uh, the only imperfection I could find. And, and the sad part about that is, is, you know, when it arrived, I was eager, and I didn't realize that the, it came in a plastic bag with a shipping bag, and then inside that was another bag which had a jersey in it, and, and um, no shipping label, no return shipping label, of course. They didn't include that, as usual. Um, and uh, it was open, and then taped shut. So I'm assuming, and probably correctly, that this somebody else had bought this, returned it somehow, and got a different one, or just, you know, said, screw you. Uh, and then they put it in the package. Instead of returning it back to the manufacturer, saying, hey, you guys screwed this one up. Um, get us a credit or a replacement or what have you. They just said, fuck you, and, and, and said it to me. <laughs> With no return label, so I can't return it. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, and, I, and I track the shipping on this. It's funny, because I live in Oregon, and this came from Nevada, and it went damn near to Seattle. 
and then they put it on a and then they put it on a mail truck. It's Federal Express. I'm talking about. They put it on a mail truck and shipped it. They gave it to the post office and shipped to me. It took over a week. And I'm thinking, you know what, you guys? If you didn't ship it all the way across the country before you gave it to the post office, it would have been here in a couple of days.